Hello, um, I'm Roxy. Just a little bit of background. I'm in Cairns. Um, this is my second prac. Um, I was up here last year for my first prac and I'm back again again uh, for this prac. Um, so I'm not a grad student, I'm not a first year, I'm just doing my prac over summer. Um, so yeah, I'll get started. Uh, being in Cairns, I shouldn't have really been surprised that um, we were called to a patient with query ear cancer syndrome. Uh, it was my only my first week and I had actually only just been told that it's actually really rare for people to develop into the syndrome. Uh, despite the amount of stings up here. Um, this was my first case ever on my own, so I was really nervous. Uh, however, I was confident with my understanding of the case as I had literally just finished revising the topic. ICPs were also coming code one. On arrival, we were greeted by a very upset 20-year-old female Indigenous lady. Uh, through the tears, the patient showed me her knee where she had be just been stung 30 minutes ago. I was shocked to see only a tiny, tiny lump um, that was barely even raised, um, yet it was obviously causing her some major discomfort. She was in 10 out of 10 pain, short of breath, uh, complaining of major muscle cramps all over her body. She was tachycardic, slightly hypertensive at 140, but all of her other vitals were fine. I cannulated for the first time ever, which was really exciting, um, without any issues. I gave her 5 milligrams morphine straight away. Um, and then we transferred her to the stretcher and to the car, just as the ICP arrived. The ICP began talking through our management plan with my mentors when it became apparent that my mentors had actually forgotten what the management was for Andrew Kennedy Syndrome. Um, the ICP was really impressed when I was able to fully detail what the appropriate treatment was. I went and gave the patient another 5 milligrams of morphine while my mentors and ICP began setting up their spring infusion for the magnesium. Um, the magnesium was connected and then the ICP sat in the back with me while we transported. During transport we gave an additional 10 milligrams of morphine, so that made a total of 20 milligrams, um, but it had absolutely no effect at all on the patient's pain. We also organised a subsequent magnesium uh, maintenance dose, um, just through a bag of fluids. Um, and then when we got to hospital I handed over to the resource team up here. Um, and yet yeah, completed the paperwork on my own. Um, I had never experienced treating a patient with ear cancer syndrome before um, and to be honest I wasn't prepared uh, for just for the amount of pain that this lady was in um, for what seemed to be the tiniest tiniest little sting. Um, from a theoretical view I completely understood why and um, the passive the pathophysiology behind the syndrome but I was completely taken aback when um, yeah, 20 milligrams of morphine and, and the magnesium literally had no effect whatsoever on her pain. It really channel, challenged my perceptions uh, just sitting there because I was, you know, I was feeling like um, the morphine should be working and I'm, you know, watching myself put morphine in a drip and it just literally, she was still, you know, in so much pain. Um, so yeah, it was one of those things where you really do have to experience um, and see these patients to even begin to understand what sort of pain they're in. Um, when my mentors forgot the management, um, I felt really, really awkward uh, correcting them. Initially, they disregarded what I was saying until the ICP corrected them and said that I was actually right. I guess that's all part of being a student. Um, uh, Sando Usher. Um, looked at the, pre the prevalence of Erykanji syndrome in far northern Queensland um, and they explained the serious catecholamine, cardiac and pain syndromes that can occur um, with even the most minor of Erykanji stings. Some of the most distressing symptoms include severe aches and pains, uh, nausea, vomiting, headache, pulmonary edema and cardiac failure. My patient was clearly having a severe catecholamine response due to her intense pain that was not decreasing despite the opioid administration. Barnett et al. from Rural and Remote Health um, also state that opioid and magnesium administration is the most appropriate treatment for pain, um, but in serious cases, infusions of both opioid and magnesium are necessary, which in this case um, they were. Uh, since it's not a case that presents very often, my mentors ICP and myself were not fully prepared and aware of all the treatment protocols um, and management. Um, this therefore meant that there was sort of short delays here and there um, for the patient while we organised um, the appropriate management. 
since my patient was in so much pain um, and as the primary officer I felt responsible and felt like um, it was sort of time critical to reduce her pain. Um, so in future, I guess, um, we're going to be able to treat patients a lot quicker and um, a lot easier now that we are confident with um, what our management is. Um, and I think that's really great that I got to experience that as a student um, because from now on, I think I'll probably remember this case for a long time. Um, it was also really great because since it's so rare up here, um, we were all really intrigued by it. Um, so it sort of prompted us to, for like the next week, we talked about it and um, sort of did some critical thinking as a group, um, which was really, really great. Um, the other thing was that the case actually featured all over the radio stations and TV up here. So um, even when I went home, um, on my way home from work, you know, it was on the radio. So sort of I got that critical thinking on my own as well. Um, and since it was my own patient, you know, I really was interested in it and really did um, reflect quite a bit on it. Um, so it was really quite rewarding. Um, our case was also carded. Um, so I found out a couple of weeks ago um, that we got some really great positive feedback from our case. And since I wrote it up myself, that was even better. Um, yeah, it was just, it was really fantastic to get um, some good feedback from officers uh, that, yeah, looked through my paperwork and my management. So yeah, that was really, really rewarding. Um, uh, yeah, it certainly uh, made me double think next time I went for a swim at the beach though. Um, so yeah, thank you and uh, have a great Christmas.